This video is brought to you by Green Chef, the most sustainable meal kit you will ever get. Green Chef has a meal plan for every kind of diet or lifestyle, from plant-based like mine to keto or paleo. If you want to have delicious but balanced and nourishing meals, Green Chef's expert chefs have curated every single recipe with over 30 meal choices every week to keep it fun and exciting. Green Chef is also the first USDA certified organic meal kit, so you can enjoy hand-picked organic veggies in your meals. It's also the most sustainable meal kit because it offsets 100% of their plastic use and 100% of their carbon footprint and emissions. So you can enjoy your greens while being green. Go to greenchef.us slash radhi125 and use code radhi125 to get $125 off. And don't worry, that includes free shipping. So today, Radhi and I decided to swap lives for a day so we get a real experience into what each one of us does. I'm going to be going to her personal trainer, I'm going to be going grocery shopping, I'm going to cook for both of us. And I'm actually going to find out what he does during the day because I have no idea. I'm going to be going to his office and find out what they do there too. And then I'm going to be um, doing a monologue, so I'll be using a lot of my hands. I actually don't know what else he does during the day, so I'm going to find out because I have no idea. But it's going to be fun. And the hardest part is, and I'm literally not really looking forward to this at all because I've got so much to do today. Oh, yeah. We're actually going to swap phones. So if you get a DM today, it's not me. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Stop. Thanks. Wait, 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 what's your code? My face is not, no, oh, yeah. I am not, I'm not Radhi. So, so we don't look that alike, okay? <laughs> is that really your code? Yeah. You're going to lose, you're not going to get mine right. Oh, wow. How did you know that? Because okay. I'm a girl, and girls know everything. Hey, Bradley, what number is it? Because I'm outside all these numbered buildings. Is that the right place? A little bit late, aren't you? Oh, late. What time was it when we starting? <sighs> I'm here. <laughs> Honest note, who do you think is better at training? Jay or me? This is a nice treadmill. <sighs> I know nothing about my body, so... He likes me better than Jay. No, no, no. I know you don't mess around in here. That's why I avoid you. <laughs> Nine and ten. Good. There we go. Wow. Let's rest. I mean, whew, this felt great. I've already sent me grocery shopping for before. Like I've done that. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not that worried about grocery shopping. That I can do. Okay, so I have a little bit of spare time and I'm looking at Jay's phone for the first time. And I'm used to literally just Instagram and WhatsApp. I don't really have any of the other apps. Um, and so, I'm trying to figure out who I should reply to. Okay. Wow, there's so much choice. How does anyone decide what pasta to eat? Hey, how's it going? Whereabouts is your pasta? Sorry? Pasta? Pasta? Yeah. What are they called? Packed tomatoes, like boxes. Tomato boxes? That makes sense, right? Oh, here we go, chopped tomatoes. Strained, not strained. Do they have to be strained? I have no idea what to do. Oh, man. Should we just buy one of each? <laughs> Did you say herbs or herbs? Hey everyone, it's Radhi. I have Jay's phone today and I am taking okay, over. Okay, so oh. Radhi time. And um, yeah, hey! Where about like, your herbs, like oregano, and oregano and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> have you looked at Instagram yet? No. What? What have you done? Did you enjoy the trip to Sprout? It was fun actually, yeah. Yes, all of this looks yummy. Yeah. Make me that. No. You can't just point at stuff and be like, make, make me. Make me that, look, you've got pepper. Oh my gosh, make a stuffed pepper for me. What? Fridge, inspire me, do something. Beans, beans, beans. Oh. I like following instructions. I'm good at following instructions. I'm going to follow this word for word. Is this still edible? I'm so glad I make videos for a living. Okay, we've got peppers, we've got jalapenos, got this. 
Great. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I don't even know if this is enough stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, crap. So there's a lot of new processes for me right now. There's, there's using a blender, there's using an oven, there's using like whatever, like it's like... Made with love, so that's all that matters, right? All right, going in. Radhi, lunch is ready. Okay, I'm so excited. <laughs> so would you? Oh my gosh, you actually made the pepper. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, it's all actually, it, look how well you presented it. Try it, try it, try it. Okay, 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 okay let me try it. It actually looks so well presented, like I am so impressed. Tomatoes. Peppers, jalapenos. Genuinely, if I was making it, I'd want it to be this flavour. It tastes so good. Does it really? No, like actually oh, it tastes cool. so good. Do you want to try some? Okay. Oh wow. It tastes so good, doesn't it? I'm really well impressed. Mm. Yeah, great job. It was really good. <laughs> I was not expecting it to taste that good. So now he's going to cook me a meal every week. This is a really tough message, but I had to share it. Don't fall in love too fast. Because the truth is, when you fall in love fast, it's not love. Nothing good in our lives comes from falling. Yeah, does that make sense though? When you fall in love too fast, you think you know their dreams, but you only know their mind. And you, but you, don't just, don't just give away your trust. Don't just give away your trust, let someone earn it. Who wrote this? Because remember, you can't eat the fruit of the seed you planted the tree of the flip side. No. <laughs> What's love got to do? Got to do with it. Love got to do, got to do with it. Eh. I feel like we'd have a really good kind of work ethic. I'd be very encouraging. Um, I feel like I have the ability to be quite strict when I need to be. So yeah, we just, uh, we got a text from Jay and he wants an impromptu meeting really quickly, so um, we're all kind of on edge. We don't really know what's going on. And no, I'm not nervous about this. Maybe he's promoting me in front of everyone. I feel very happy and very content because I always love seeing Jay, so this is a treat for me. Oh, hey guys! One hand, two hand, two hands, two hand. Rolly something, rolly something. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Who votes for me as a um, new whatever Jay is? Hey. Okay. 
What's she doing? No, I feel like Roddy's done a really good job today. I think she has like a really strong work ethic. I think that she would make us be really driven. She's not too distracting. Um, yeah, I feel like overall she's doing a really good job for this swap. Bye everyone. Thank you so much for everything. You've all done such a great job. See you guys all tomorrow. Bye, go home now, worked hard enough, all right. What did you learn today? What did I learn? That I'm exhausted after pretending to be you. Although I feel like I did a lot of stuff that wasn't really you. <laughs> <laughs> I do realize you wear a lot of different hats. Like you do so many different things in the day. Um, and you have to keep switching like your mindset into different roles, which was exhausting. <laughs> no, I feel like there's so many things in your day that I didn't even get to do because there's no way of showing them, but they're actually so demanding. Like coming up with a recipe, like I was just following a recipe. And but I don't wait, know if you told me all that. can we just take a moment to realize that you were meant to make pasta yeah. and you improvised and like was happy to just change within like a moment of- Happy is, happy is not the No, right word, but right. what's amazing is like if I was doing a script of yours and I did that monologue, if I was to do that and then suddenly you were like to me and I prepared it and I was really ready to do it and then after one second of me just about to do it, I, you were like to me, no, you have to do a whole different script. I would be terrified of doing that. But cooking for you is also what you're doing to experiment. So for you, it's like both worlds in one. To keep food fresh and exciting for someone, which you do all the time for me and for us, you realize just how much work goes into that. You have to be present when you cook. Like you can't just be distracted. Like when you're cooking, it's not just like you're doing a million things. It's yeah. like, I was trying to make one thing and then you're trying to make another thing. And when you cook, sometimes you're making like two or three items at the same time. I just making one thing. Like you'd sometimes be making a dessert and a main and a starter and maybe like three mains. And so you just start realizing like how much good organizational skills you need and also how much mind space and presence you need to actually manage all of that. It takes a lot. I always knew that what you did was not easy, but now it's like even more proof to me. Let's be honest, I didn't actually do what Jay does when he goes into the office, but I think I understood the fact that the way that I did it, if I was to run a business in that way, there would be no business. <laughs> um, just cool to see his visions come alive because I literally don't see it. I see him at home most of the time, and so I never really go to the office. I hear about things he's doing, but to see it put into practice was really, yeah, really interesting. I even told them all to take the afternoon off, but they actually stayed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our message with this video and why we did it for real is we want to propose and recommend and suggest that all the couples out there, even friends, that you try this out. That for just one day, you swap your life. Whether you're a stay-at-home mom or dad, whether you both go to the office, for one day, just experience it because what it does is it gives so much more respect to your partner for what they do and a genuine sense of understanding. It's like when you walk a mile in someone's shoes, it's like, but we don't, we never walk a mile in the shoes of the people that are right next to us. I know in theory what you do, but I didn't know in practicality. And I think just breaking down like the amount of time spent doing certain things, the amount of energy you feel goes into certain things and really exchanging that information because sometimes it's not practical to go into other people's work, True. but really breaking it down for the other person to yeah, show them what you have to do and how much time and energy goes into it. I feel like the office is going to be really let down when I go back. Oh yeah, I definitely think that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks guys. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>